Having a great thumbnail is by far one of the most critical elements when it comes to getting views for your gaming videos. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you and teach you the key elements that you must include in almost every thumbnail. And I'm also going to show you step by step how to make gaming thumbnails for your YouTube videos fast and for free. So before we dive into the video, this video is brought to you by own.tv. Owned is the go-to spot to get premium overlays for your stream. If you wanna make your stream look professional, they're the ones that you wanna to go to. All of their overlay packages include panels, alerts, banners, emotes. There's just an endless amount of things you can get to make your stream look professional. So go ahead and grab a design today using the link in the description below. Not only does it help support the channel, but by using the link, you'll also receive 50% off by entering the code LASCURRY at checkout. So by the end of this video, you'll learn how to create thumbnails like this that will improve the chances of getting your gaming videos clicked as that is the goal of a thumbnail. So it's very important that you focus on the creation of your thumbnails as this is the first thing that a viewer will see when searching for a video. Now, before we dive into creating these thumbnails, it's important that you understand the key elements that you need to include in every single thumbnail. Now, not every element you need to include, but for the most part, it's good to understand a guideline of what makes a good thumbnail so that way it gets clicked and get you more views. So let's dive into those. So let's begin with the size of your thumbnail. This is very important because you need to know what space you have and what YouTube recommends. So the recommended thumbnail size is gonna be 1280 by 720. So when it comes to the words that you're gonna put on your thumbnail, there's two rules that you wanna follow. You wanna keep the words on your thumbnail to a maximum of no more than four words, and you do not want to repeat the title. You wanna think of your thumbnail as a short summary of what your video is gonna be about. So you want the thumbnail to complement your title. And a lot of times I see where people take their title and just slap it on the thumbnail. You want the thumbnail to be short, concise, to the point, and to grab the viewer's attention. So make sure that you try to stay within that constraint of no more than four words. Now, when it comes to colors on your thumbnails, you wanna make sure that you're always on brand, using the same fonts, using the same colors, using the same shapes. That way it shows consistency. Now, when it comes to picking your colors for your thumbnails, what you wanna do is you wanna look at other people that are creating videos just like you, and you wanna take a look at the colors that they're utilizing. Now, you don't wanna use the same colors that they're using because ultimately you want to stand out. So if they're using a red, maybe use a blue because ultimately you want people to click your video over someone else's. Then when it comes to the text that you're putting on your thumbnail, you wanna make them as big as possible. So that way they're able to be read no matter what device they're on. Now you can understand that most people are watching YouTube videos on their mobile, on tablets. So when you watch thumbnails on those devices, the text gets shrunken down. So you wanna make sure that you make them as big as possible without taking as much space on the thumbnail because you wanna include other elements. That way it's more captivating. So focus on those elements and use this as a guide when you're creating these thumbnails. Now you may not feel 100% comfortable with this, but if you're doing YouTube videos, you wanna to try to include your face in your thumbnails whenever possible, because not only does it build trust, but it allows you to connect with the viewer because it allows you to be able to put emotion into your thumbnail, which is gonna draw them to it and make them wanna click it, which in turn is gonna give you more views. So focus on including your face in almost every thumbnail if you can. Now that you have a good understanding of the key elements that need to be included in a thumbnail, now it's time to actually create them. So for the first thumbnail, the Apex thumbnail, we're gonna utilize a tool called TubeBuddy. Now, I love TubeBuddy for many reasons, and yes, the link in the description is an affiliate link. However, this tool is free, and none of the things that I'm gonna to mention today cost any money. So what you wanna do is you wanna click the link in the description if you want to support the channel, and that's gonna bring you over to TubeBuddy. And once you're on here, you wanna select Install Free Now, and that's gonna download a tool that's gonna to link to YouTube that's gonna allow us to be able to create thumbnails as we're uploading videos, which is gonna make it really easy. So go ahead and take care of that, and then you're ready to move on to step number two. Okay, once you have it installed, you wanna come and jump over to YouTube. You're gonna be prompted to say, TubeBuddy sign 
signing required click here so go ahead and click that and get yourself signed in so we can start utilizing the tool all right once you're signed in you want to click on the two buddy icon and that's going to go ahead and bring you over to videos now you can either upload a video and be able to customize the thumbnail or you can customize the thumbnail of a another video so what you want to simply do is you want to click on edit details and this is going to be the screen that you're going to see whether you're editing the video or uploading the video so what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to select on create thumbnail and this is going to bring us here to the editor so once you're here we're ready to move on to the next step first thing that we need to select inside the editor is the background that we want to utilize for the thumbnail so it does give you three options you can go ahead and take a screenshot of a still frame from the video which a lot of times has helped to be able to catch emotions in yourself and be able to get a good capture so it's always a little bit more difficult but a little hack that you can do is towards the end of your videos or in between your videos do some poses is that way you can go ahead and grab them later on to create your thumbnails then you have the option to have a solid color or to utilize an image that you already have whether this was a separate image you took for the thumbnail or an image that you downloaded so for this video we're going to utilize an image that we have downloaded to be able to create the apex thumbnail so i'm going to go ahead and select that and then i'm going to have the option to go ahead and upload my own image so i've already uploaded the image here and so i'm going to go ahead and select it this is going to be my background for the thumbnail and this is going to be the first step as you can see the next step is creating layers and that's where we're going to move on to next now that we have our background selected the next thing we want to do is add our layers that's going to be our text our graphics or anything that we're going to utilize inside the thumbnail so first we want to align our background so to do that you want to uncheck lock background this is going to allow you to edit this image so what we simply want to do is position it where we is going to feel uh, satisfied so I know that I'm going to have text on the left hand side so I'm going to go ahead and put her on the right side to give me space to be able to write once I feel comfortable where I have it I want to go ahead and check this again and that's going to go ahead and lock the background not allowing it to move so now I don't want this left side to be black I do want to add some color to that so what I want to do is I want to come here to shapes and I want to select the rectangle and simply what you want to do is just place it and fill in the space and once you have the space filled out, you can go ahead and select the color that you want this to be. So I'm going to go with a simple kind of like light teal like I did in the example. And this is now going to allow me to be able to break it up. Next, we want to go ahead and add our text. So to add text to the thumbnail, we want to select the text icon. We're going to go ahead and input the text. And we're going to leave the color as is and we're going to leave the font as is but if you do want to change the color or the font you're more than welcome to so i'm going to hit add layer this is going to add it to the thumbnail we want to add another text so we'll input that there and i'm going to go ahead and change the color to red to break it up i'm going to choose that i'm going to add it to layer and then i'm going to go ahead and add our final text here i'm going to change the color once again to be able to break it up and differentiate the text so i'm going to choose there i'm going to add layer and now we literally have our thumbnail almost created so next we want to go ahead and kind of bring more life to this text so it's not just hidden within the image so before we add the backgrounds behind the text we want to select on this blue section here and we want to select the icon that's going to bring it to the back this is just going to allow to make sure that everything is layered on top of each other because that's the way that the thumbnail creation is going to work so if you have a background in the back you want the text to be above it so we always want to make sure that everything Everything is aligned and created in that order so now we can select on shapes select the square and we want to hover that over the word master we simply want to extend it and measure it up until it kind of aligns to the word and then what we simply want to do is change the color of it and I'm going to use a yellow for this since yellow and black look well and then I'm going to go ahead and send this to the back Now you can see here that it's not in front so I'm going to bring this to the front and then I'm going to bring the word master back to the front so now it's on top and now we simply have the first background which you can see that that automatically makes it pop and we're simply going to go ahead and repeat this process for the other two words and i'm literally going to do the same thing i'm going to hover over i'm going to extend it i'm going to go ahead and measure it and it just makes it really easy to be able to go ahead and do this and i'm going to go ahead and make this one white simply because i like to break it up 
and change things up and white and red look well. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to the back and you can see here again that I need to click it and bring it to the front and then hover the text over, bring it to the front again and now I can align my text directly where I wanted. And we'll repeat this one more time for the last text. Once again, it's very simple to be able to utilize this tool. You simply just hover over, drag and drop, and it makes it really easy to make thumbnails. So we simply select that there. Once again, we repeat the process, we bring it back. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color and I'm gonna make this one red. So we'll use the red down here. And then I'll simply bring it to the front and then I'll come back, select the text, bring that to the front. And now you can see here that we have our box everything's aligned where it needs to be. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and align this and position this where we want it to be and then go ahead and there's a nice feature inside of TubeBuddy to be able to give it a nice effect. So what we want to simply do here is select this box and we want to go ahead and highlight it and we can do this one highlighted here as well. And then we can go ahead and grab that there. And then we can go ahead and grab our text and place it right back in its position. And now you can see here that now with simply those minor changes, you can see how much more this thumbnail pops. Now we can go ahead and add an emoji in there. And this is going to go ahead and give us a opportunity to be able to draw people's attention more to the thumbnail simply because of these elements and you can see here that really quickly we were able to create this thumbnail using these simple tools and as you can get creative you can create different kind of thumbnails using all the key elements that I mentioned in the video above so go ahead and follow along and you can create that thumbnail there and make the changes as you see fit so once that's done you can hit continue and now this is going to show you how your thumbnail goes up against the other videos that are in that same topic that you're trying to create for. And this is going to allow you to know like whether or not you should make changes or adjustments. And this is why I like this tool so much because you're able to make these edits in real time without wasting time. And once you've done and, and established that that's a thumbnail you want to go with, you simply hit save and publish and you're good to go. And now the thumbnail has been created. All right. So before before we dive into creating the second thumbnail using another free tool, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that the goal of this video and every other video on this YouTube series is to really ultimately help you succeed. So comment below and let me know what kind of YouTube channel you have. And I'm going to select one of you guys to review your channel and review your thumbnails to try to help you along this journey. So comment below and let me know what your channel is about. For our second thumbnail, we're going to be using a tool called Canva. So you can also find that in the description of this video. So once you're on Canva, you'll be prompted to create an account and then you'll be brought to this dashboard here. And one of the things I like about Canva is the amount of templates that they have available for you to be able to use when designing your thumbnail. So in the search box, you want to go ahead and type in YouTube thumbnail and you'll see the option here will give you the exact size and give you a list of templates that you can use right out of the gate. So you can simply come through here and scroll down and see what template you want to utilize. You can even select to start from scratch. At the editor, you have the option to select any template that you may want to utilize on the left hand side and you can make any changes, add or remove to any of these templates. So let's go ahead and create the second thumbnail that we have here. So this is the template that I utilized and I'm simply going to go ahead and upload the image that I want to replace. So I'll grab it, I'll drag it over the image and you can see here that it fits perfectly in that section. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and change the text. So I simply can just double click and I'll type in the text that I want to be on my thumbnail. Once I have that in place, I can resize it. I can change the font or change the color. So you have the same options that you have in TubeBuddy. So either tool you can utilize, I utilize both for many different things. So I can go ahead and resize it. And then from there, the next thing I want to do is that I can go ahead and remove or make changes to this text here to be able to add to the thumbnail. 
So I'll update that there. And the next thing we do is we'll change the color. So we simply click on the background and we have an option to change colors here. So I'll select this here. And now what we want to do is we want to add a little bit more pop to the text so that it stands out. Remember, we want to stop people in their tracks when they're looking at videos. So what we'll do is that we'll come here to elements and we'll select the square. And what we'll do is that we'll do the same thing that we did on TubeBuddy to make the text stand out. We'll put a background behind it. So we'll simply just measure this out. And then one of the great things we can do here in Canva is that we can go ahead and duplicate it to be able to be a little bit quicker and not have to go ahead and do too much work. So once we have that in place, we'll grab position, we'll bring it to the back simply because remember we want the text on top and then we can literally change the color of the background to black. I think I'll do the same here for the bottom. And now you can see here that just by doing that little change there, that just makes the text pop a lot more. So I think that I'm gonna go back to the other color that we had and originally, or we'll go with a color like this and then we can add other elements in here. So you can really search here anything that you want. So we'll go ahead and search controller. And you can see here that there's the ones with crowns are paid because you need a pro subscription. The other ones are free. So we'll utilize this and we'll add this icon in here just to add a little bit more to it to where she's looking at the controller and then the controller is looking at the text and then we have to read it. And it's just that simple and easy to be able to create these thumbnails. You see how fast I was able to create that. And the more you practice, the better you will become and the faster you'll be able to do them as well. So then once you're ready to bring this into YouTube, we simply want to select a download and you see it'll download it in the right file size. And then you can go ahead and upload that directly to YouTube for your video. Now that you see how fast and easy it is to create thumbnails for your gaming YouTube channel, utilizing both YouTube and Canva, take what you learned here today and go out and experiment. Add your own style, add your own personality to the thumbnails. And as long as you follow the key elements that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you'll be just fine. The more you create, the better you will become. If you're enjoying this YouTube series, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's video where I show you how to create a YouTube channel banner to get you more subscribers. I'll see you guys in the next video. You know the motto, hustle, live, repeat.